G'day guys, Steve Morgan here for Fishing Monthly Magazines on a beautiful morning down here at Raby Bay and I'm here with Lance Warren and Lance, Steve. you're the National Sales Manager for Haynes Signature and for Suzuki and you've got a pretty exciting boat for us here this morning, what is it? Yeah we have mate, we've got the new 550F um, built for the fishermen, it's um, derived for, um, it's come from what people have asked us for, yep. so we've got a wider hull, um, a little bit longer than our old traditional 543. Um, just a really nice boat to do what we need to do from a fishing perspective. Uh, you guys do a lot of time at boat shows and talking to people that are you know kicking the tyres on a new boat package. Um, the fact that this boat has things like that little narrow walk around on the front, it's got a really great dashboard set up. Um, this really is a boat for the people, isn't it? Oh, without doubt. And it incorporates our signature variable deep rise um, hull as well. So um, that is uh, starting at 21 degrees um, at the transom and up to 33 degrees at the front of the boat. So we get a nice um, crisp ride. It's, it's a nice ride um, and it allows us to have that stability as well. So that's incorporated in this hull. It's a complete new boat. Um, we're excited about it, Steve, so we yep. look forward to getting it into the marketplace. Yeah, and look, this is powered by uh, your most popular engine, which is the 140 Suzuki. Tell us a little bit about that powerhouse. Yeah, the 140's been around for a while now. It had a, uh, a bit of a revamp um, around about three years ago, a bit over three years ago. Um, it is our most popular engine, um, a bit over two litre cubic capacity. Um, it's just a great all-rounder. It's a great, great engine. Um, it's, it's suitable, it's light. Um, it's been a great engine for us. Now this boat, uh, you say, comes in around two tonnes on the trailer, so obviously supplied on a Dumbia twin axle. Trailers nowadays are getting better and better, this is a good looking trailer. Yeah, the Australian trailer market, there's some competition there as well. Um, the, the trailer suits this well with the, with the um, twin axle trailer. Um, I'd recommend a twin axle trailer on it all day, every day, um, just for security, uh, safety, um, towing and so forth. But um, look, it's a really nice little package. It starts at 56,990. Um, this one's blinged up a bit. Um, we've got a bit of uh, fruit on this one. Uh, we're looking around about 79 grand by the time we sort of get into that level with a nice stainless steel targa. Um, we've got a 12-inch Furuno on it as well. So great little offshore or rig. Yep. I noticed the, um, the, the stainless steel work, you do it all in-house. It's, it's yep. solid. Tell us about it. Yeah, we do it all in house. Um, we, we, we've we've had a company design a stainless steel, which we've been a partner for, with for a long time now. Um, so yeah, Paul, he's um, he's our um, stainless guy. So we've got all our own um, templates and so forth for our stainless in house. So nothing really leaves the factory. We keep a few people employed there, and we keep people travelling along well. That's right. Well, it is a great looking Australian built boat. Uh, I'm itching to get on the water and just to see just how this uh, new model from Haynes Signature performs out on the water. Now that the guys are up at the uh, boat ramp uh, getting the trailer, it's a great time to have a chat about this uh, this 550F uh, while they're not around to, to see what it's all about. Personally, I think this is a great entry-level glass boat that you can get into for under $60,000. And if you're in a tinny and want to make a transition up into a more comfortable boat to a fiberglass boat, which is a serious fishing boat, this is probably a great place to start looking. Um, cheap to buy, packages from this boat start at uh, well under $60,000 when packaged with the 115 Suzuki. As tested, this one here with all the fruit on it um, came in at just under $80,000, but it had the great touchscreen for Uno. It's got the 140 horsepower Suzuki on the back. Um, 
But not only is this boat cheap to buy, it's also cheap to run. Um, when we were out there at cruising speeds, we were getting just under two kilometres per litre of petrol, and that equates to around 60 cents a kilometre at today's petrol prices to run this boat. So, uh, so not only cheap to buy, cheap to run as well. And you can fish up to three people in this boat. You and two mates out for the day, you're not going to have a great big fuel bill. Of course, it's a four-stroke motor. There is no oil costs as well. Um, Changes over the previous model, the 543, that this is sort of replacing, apart from it being beamier and having all the features we talked about, the walk around, um, the fantastic stainless steel work, this has got a 177 litre fuel tank inside, which at the performance figures we did today gives you over 300 kilometres of range. And that's 77% uh, bigger than the previous model's fuel tank. So uh, it's definitely got some serious range, this boat. Um, I've also found it had very high gunnels, this boat. This is a very comfortable boat to fish, especially if you like fishing over the gunnel. Um, it is actually nearly waist height the gunnels when you're inside it. Of course it's got the tow room underneath but the extra space that those high gunnels have given you has been run a long way forward so nearly to the helm you have massive amounts of side pocket storage and that's uh, pretty important for guys that like fishing. They want their tackle, uh, you want it at hand and you want it close to you when you're fishing so uh, there's plenty of storage space there. Um, I really love the flip back dash design in this boat. Um, nearly all of the, uh, the Hain signature models have it now, but the ability to troubleshoot any electronic problems you have on the water by simply flipping two switches and lifting it up, um, very neat solution, very practical solution, and definitely love it in this brand of boats. Um, I also like that the, uh, the Targa tops made it in-house, they made it of that 32 mil stainless, but this whole Targa it flips over. So if you need to get this into a garage or into a confined space, um, you don't have to cater for space this high, you have to cater for a much lower space. So basically with windshield height, you can get it into a garage. And that's a serious consideration for a lot of people that don't have the place to store these boats. Um, a nearly two tonne on the trailer, you'll probably only be able to get this uh, boat on a twin axle. It'll be the, definitely the best way to tow it, but you'll probably need more than the four cylinder uh, family sedan to tow it. You'll need a, at least a six cylinder car or, or larger to tow it. Uh, any of the twin cab utes that are very popular nowadays will tow this thing beautifully. Um, for more information on this boat, you can go to signatureboats.com.au but in the meantime we're going to get these things on the trailer get back to the edit studio